Hey, what's up guys? It's Kerry Sullivan with rockstartriathlete.com and today I'm coming at you guys with some tips that you can use to plan out your triathlon race season. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go out there and pick out a few races that you want to do for the season and go out into those races and then choose your A race which is going to be or you can choose two or three A races which are going to be those races that you really want to go out there and absolutely smoke it on. Then you're going to choose your C races, all right? And your C races are the races you're a little bit on the fence on. Don't really know if you, you really want to go out there and fully crush it. They're just, you know, you're just going to do them and, and hope to do okay. And then you're going to have your C races where you're just going out there, you're just going to have fun, all right? And then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to choose uh, or take those A races and you're going to count back, depending on the, the distance of the race, a certain amount of time. So for instance, with the sprint race, you're going to count back one week. That's going to be your taper. With an Olympic, it's also going to be one week. When you start talking about a half Ironman, you're talking about 10 to 14 days. And then when you start talking full Ironman, you're talking about two to three weeks as your taper. The next thing that you want to do is from that taper, that end of the taper or the beginning of the taper block, you're going to count back some other time. So for a sprint race, you want to count back four weeks. From an Olympic race, you want to count back six weeks. And from a full and half Ironman distance race, you want to count back a good eight rate, uh, eight weeks, I should say. And in that time, you want to do one to two races just to kind of keep you sharp and also just kind of experience how it's going to be. So when that A race comes along, you're going to have a little bit of experience, you're going to know how things feel, and you're going to be familiar with fueling and doing all those things that go into racing a triathlon. If you like these tips, go to rockstartriathlete.com, sign up, and uh, I'll be sure that you get all kinds of free tips. Rock on!